Hello and welcome to College Sisters. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy New Year's makeup look. The first thing that I do whenever I start my makeup is I prime my skin using a clear primer. And then the next thing I do for special occasions is I put on a translucent powder underneath my eyes and on my forehead. And what doing that does is it makes your makeup a lot more smoother. And it also keeps your skin from getting matte, I mean from getting oily because you actually have powder just absorbing whatever oils that are going to come up throughout the day. Next, I'm just hurrying up and putting on some foundation. The foundation that I used today was by L'Oreal, and it is in the shade W8. Then I'm going to curry and show you how I fill in my eyebrows. So I pretty much always use an eyebrow pencil, and I use a light color eyebrow pencil that's a little bit lighter than my hair color because I don't want my eyebrows to appear too dark. And I just make sure to fill them in going with my natural shape of my eyebrow. And then next, I, f I go in and I fine-tune my eyebrows with a eyebrow gel. And what that does is it just makes your eyebrows look, your actual eyebrow hair look a little bit thicker. So if you're a person that your eyebrows don't really show up as much as you would like, or you know you want them to appear better, I think that's the best tip is eyebrow gel. Then next, I go in with a lighter color foundation. It's actually not a concealer. This is a LA Girl foundation. And I'm taking that and I'm putting it on my eyelid and I'm putting it underneath my eye. This is really good because using a foundation instead of concealer makes your makeup look a little bit less heavy. And you have more color options with the foundation versus using concealer where you might only have a color, a couple color options. I just go in, put in some concealer under my eyes, on my eyelids, and on my forehead. And I go ahead and bring that out ever so much. And then I just switch between using my Beauty Blender sponge and using the brush that has foundation on it. Then next I go in with some gold eyeshadow. And then I go in with some burgundy colored eyeshadow that's matte. And I put that on my crease. And this is the main color that I'm using to bring together my eye color and my lip color that I'm going to use later, this burgundy color. I really like burgundy. Burgundy works very well, especially for a holiday makeup look where you have all the reds and greens. We're still pretty much in that season, so I like using burgundy. Next, we're going to go in with some brown eyeshadow, and we're going to put that on our outer V. And that's going to make our eyes look like it has a lot more depth. And it's also going to make them look a little bit more open. And then after that, I went in with a smaller brush and did an dar even darker color on my outer V. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I went in with a really bright eyeshadow. I think it's like a white or rose gold eyeshadow. And then I take a light pink eyeshadow and I put that right underneath my brow bones to help my eyeshadow transition out. And this looks really like it's just going really naturally into my eyebrow. Next, I'm contouring really quickly. So I'm putting that on my forehead and my underneath my cheekbones to, so it can stand out as much as possible. Next, I'm powdering my face really fast with the exact same color that my foundation is, and I'm putting that everywhere. Then I'm putting a lot of eyeliner, or not a lot of eyeliner, I'm just doing a really big wing. wing. Yes, wing. So I'm putting a big wing on... And I'm just making sure to be very careful and get the line as straight as possible. So my eyeliner is one of the main parts of this tutorial. And I think it's what really makes this eyeliner look very special. Or this whole makeup look really special. This eyeliner that I'm using is really good. Next I'm going in with some highlighter. All the products will be in the description box. But I'm going in with highlighter and I'm putting that on my cheekbones with my BH Cosmetics fan brush. This fan brush is really good and it does a great job of putting your highlighter on as smooth as possible. Then I go in with some lighter pink lipstick. And then what I do next is I take another lipstick that is a, dark, a darker pink color, more like a burgundy. The first one's more like a red. So I put the second color on, I pick it up with a little brush and I'm putting that just on the outer corners of my lips. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of using it as though it's a lip liner because I don't have a lip liner that's this exact color. So I'm using it as a lip liner to make my lips 
overdraw them a little bit and make them look a little bit bigger. And then it's also adding a little bit of depth to my whole lip look and it's kind of creating an ombre effect. And then I'll take some more of that deep red burgundy eyeshadow and I'm putting that underneath my eyelid or underneath my eye to tie in the top and bottom. And then I'm putting on some mascara. I'm not going to use lashes, I'm just going to put a lot of mascara. Now we have finally reached the end of this makeup tutorial. This is the finished look. Right now I am just taking off my scarf and taking down my hair. Just so that you can see how I achieved the look in the beginning pictures of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!